today is Vlogmas Day 15. Um, if you're wondering why I have my makeup on but I don't have my eyebrows on, I'm about to get my eyebrows threaded. Yeah, I'm about to go to Trader Joe's and then I'm gonna go back home to my house and then cook. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye. So this is the tree at my parents' house. And um, we just moved here last year, so this is our first time decorating our house for Christmas, or this house. And then they had no presents under the tree, and I brought the presents for my parents and my brother here because I have no wrapping paper in my house. So they finally have some presents under the tree. Yeah. We don't have a fireplace. So I guess the stockings will have to live here. This is so extra. What is this? <laughs> and then they have bows on the door and a wreath. I don't want to show you the front of my house because then you'll figure out where my parents live. And then, who is that? Rudolph, is that you? And then this little tree. And then me. I don't know what happened, but my camera just turned off. I'm editing now, and I'm realizing that I forgot to film an intro, or I forgot to press the record button. Most likely the latter. But anyways, I'm cooking kimchi fried cauliflower rice. And to begin with, I just chopped up some chicken tenders. And now I'm going to cook them. Back to our regularly scheduled program. But my camera just turned off. Okay, so I'm just cooking the chicken. Uh, I just diced it up, and yeah, now I'm cooking it. And now I'm gonna season it with uh, so there's right oil in the pan. I'm just gonna season it with some umami powder from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna season it with some umami powder and some chicken powder from the Nora brand, the chicken bouillon powder. So I'm just cooking the chicken first before I toss everything in for the fried rice. The fried rice. So the chicken is mostly cooked already. Um, I have a fear of undercooked chicken, so I like to split them up just to make sure they're not pink inside. But I'm about to put it on the heat again after I add everything in, but yeah. Um, I'm just heating it on medium heat, um, just letting it cook through, and yeah. Now I'm going to set it aside and then cook everything else. Okay, so I just put the chicken aside and now I'm going to cook the cauliflower rice. I just bought my cauliflower rice at Trader Joe's. Let me cut this baby open. I don't know why this is here. Got him. Okay. Half onion just chopped up. I should have said the ingredients before I started. Oh well. Alright, and then I have green onions. <laughs> and then I have gochujang sauce. Where's my kimchi? And some kimchi. I'm just gonna dice up the kimchi and then use some of the kimchi juice. And then for seasoning. I just have the umami powder from Trader Joe's, chicken powder, I'm going to use some garlic powder. I'm back and I have garlic powder. Okay. And sesame oil. And of course, oil, oil. You're also going to need two eggs. Two eggs. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little oil. Some 
I'm gonna add the rice cauliflower. Once the onion gets aromatic, yeah, just add all of it. So I have the kimchi, uh, usually you're supposed to chop it, but today I forgot. So, I mean, I'm still sure it's gonna be okay. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. I don't think before, when I used to make it with real rice, I chopped it because I was lazy. So yeah, just add as much kimchi as you want. This is your life. I'm gonna add gojujang sauce. I already added a little, but um, it's not coming out the way that I want to. I so you can put a spoonful, whatever you're comfortable with, and spiciness level. Done. Now I'm gonna add the egg and just make a little hole. Um, you can beat it ahead of time because that's what my mom does, but I am lazy. Oops. And then I'm just gonna mix it in. Turn up the heat a little. So it can actually uh, cook. Yeah, I'm just gonna scramble it in. So now the egg is pretty much cooked. I'm gonna add in the chicken. Bam. Literally all the chicken. I should have added the chicken before I put in the goju jong or whatever. As I said, it's your life. It's your kimchi fried rice. Okay, so now that it's almost done, I'm just gonna turn the heat on low and then I'm gonna add sesame oil. And how much do I add? Who knows? And I'm also gonna add the green onions. Bam! And there you have it, that's it. It was really easy. Um, so usually I would add more like vegetables, like bok choy, but I don't have bok choy. <laughs> and I'm thinking, does it not have enough vegetables? But remember, cauliflower is a vegetable and it's all cauliflower. And yeah, it's really quick. Um, I am not a chef, but I feel like, you know, I'd be cooking, I'd be eating, and I uh, haven't gotten sick. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. And this is the final product. Let me just show you guys. Yeah, it's really easy um, and it made about four servings, so it's enough for Monday through Thursday, and yeah, um, it reheats really well, and it's pretty easy, um, you just need to prep everything, and then 
just throw it into the like your wok or pan and bam you're done and i'm not the best cook um i feel like i'm still learning um i don't really cook too much but definitely like this dish is one of the harder dishes i make um and you can change the meat to be chicken or tofu if you're not eating meat or yeah, whatever meat you want and that's all um, maybe I can cook something next time um, I don't really cook too much so maybe I'll have to do some research but other than this, pretty much my other meal prep I do is cauliflower burrito bowls and that one's even easier okay I will see you guys later. Um, please don't hate on my cooking skills. <laughs> I'm still learning. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.